Hello everyone, Nancy at Paper Montero. Uh, I wanted to do a VR to uh, Sandra at Spirit of Avalon on my top five weird tarot decks. And uh, you may have seen some of these before on my channel, but here they are together, my weirdest decks, I think. Uh, one of them is the Fantastical Tarot by Natalie Hertz. I love her art, she's very cool. Um, the deck is weird mainly because of the people on it, the people's faces. Um, this is the star card, for example. Sometimes their bodies are weird too, kind of lumpy and odd. Um, the moon card actually is one of my favorite moon cards. I think it's really beautiful. Her art is beautiful, but uh, it is weird for a moon card. The Fool, <laughs> no, never really sure exactly what's going on in this one. It, it kind of, the, her art kind of reminds me in this deck of the Terror of the Cat People, which could have been a contender for a weird deck, but I think this is a little weirder. You know, that one's weird because it has people kind of like this and cats. But um, this is the lovers. I mean, can you make out the the one face and the other face, and it's just, it's weird. It's kind of a Halloween-y <laughs> Adam's Family version of Lovers. The hanged man is hanging from the neck and has a very strange body. I don't know what's going on with that. Justice, just everything's kind of creepy or strange. Sometimes like this one, almost fairy-like or elf-like. And she has a great um, fairy deck too. But anyway, I think you can tell that the expressions, the faces, and so forth are strange. The art is really neat, I think. But, you know, the Two of Wands is two leopards. And it's beautiful. But it's weird. Queen of Cups, just the intense looks and so forth. So anyway, that's the Fantastical Tarot as one of my weird decks. And that and this next one, I had to kind of go through the decks and pull out the weirdest cards because some of them are, you know, kind of normal, although the art might be a little weird. Some of them are just weird. Um, the last three decks, well, I didn't have to pick out cards. Every card in the deck is weird. Um, but the Global Fusion Intuitive Tarot by Wayne Rodney uh, is a weird deck. Uh, it is a very cool deck. Tabletop is dirty, but as you may know, I don't care for spread cloths because they distract from the art. So we're stuck with the table. But anyway, this is the Global Fusion Intuitive Tarot. And that is death. Let's see if I can get it to focus a little better. There. But every card is so rich with things going on in it. Quite often, here's our Ten of Wands, there's some sort of strange dragon-like or weird creature that you don't expect. I don't know why there's a carrot hanging off of one of his wands. Just weird stuff like that. Seven of Cups. Have you ever seen those kinds of things in the illusionary cups? They're pretty weird. The Nine of, of Spades, the swords, um, I, this weird, creepy little doll down here is strange. And it looks like blood pouring out here. Just a weird deck, but again, I really admire the art. The artist did an amazing job of creating all this. Um, here's the Five of Wands. I like the lizard and the frog up here and the kind of all-seeing eye in the hand. Two 
two of wands. I don't know what he's conjuring in midair here. And even this tower, it's kind of a traditionally tower, but you look at the guy falling from it, it's really weird. So, and two of cups with their creature above them and a rainbow around the moon, I don't know. Global Fusion Intuitive Tarot is my second weird deck. My third is the um, Carnival at the End of the World. I wanted to get the title right. Um, and this is from the, God, I know them, I can't read it. I'll put it down below. I can't read on this. But anyway, oh, Khan and Selznick, that's right. Okay, anyway, the Carnival at the End of the World, Tarot, uh, another one where pretty much any card is weird. Um, I don't know what that is. Temperance has a bird's head. The Eight of Swords is a post box. So there's messages. The King of Wands has the cat in this one. And a paddle. <laughs> um, I love the raccoon in this, the little raccoon holding on to him. Hanged man is being held up by an, an owl. Cardstock, and this is lovely. It's kind of like Pagan Otherworld's cardstock. The ninny. The magician has like an old style camera or something on his head or a torture instrument in the world. I love the world. He's flying with the world on his back. Just such strange stuff going on in this deck and I love it. I love this deck. Tower. And I don't, is that like an armadillo or something? My Australian friends chime in and let me know. Um, eight of Wands, why not? So that's the Carnival at the End of the World is my third weird deck. The last two, well, I'm going to go for this one because I'm sorry, there's some beautiful photography in here and so forth and the Somnia Tarot. But let's face it, every card is weird. They're just weird. I've described it before as sort of a, a Bergman film feel to it. And Mark Bergman. Um, <clears throat> but everything is strange and moody and um, you know, this was like I say, one of the ones where I wouldn't have to pick out the weird ones. Everything in it is weird. Beautiful deck. The, the creator is a photographer who actually had some friends come out and set them up in these poses and took photos of them and created the deck from that. But look at that. That's so friggin' weird. And moody. Weird and moody. Maybe I should do a VR on moody decks. <laughs> so that is the Somnia Tarot. I want to look at this one. Okay, so that was number four. And number five is 
probably the weirdest one I have, but also a beautiful deck. I love this deck. This is the Surrealist Tarot by Luigi de Giamarino. And it doesn't get a lot weirder than this. You know, it's all actual surrealistic art. Um, but surrealist art is weird. It has a terror of the cat people vibe too. It's, it's a great deck. It's really great. And you could sit for hours with each one of these and try and figure out how you relate it to the tarot. That's the sun. It's an egg on a turkey. I don't know what that is supposed to be there. Okay, we'll end with the Nine of Wands, which has geese floating in the sky and I don't know, you tell me. Elephants under the geese, all of it floating up there. I don't know. Such a weird fun deck. So anyway, Sandra, you asked for it. Uh, those are my weird decks. And let me know if you guys have uh, done a VR to this one. Um, and uh, if you have some weird decks and what they are, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.